Hello, welcome to Papa Sue Creative. Today we're going to take this JPEG photograph of a hibiscus that my husband took in Hawaii and we are going to trace around manually the hibiscus flower itself and get it out of that picture. Uh, the first thing I did was I imported the JPEG image. Now make sure this image is uh, low pixel this has got to be for the web like 72 dpi or somewhere in there but whatever size you would upload to the web I saved it after I imported it as an SG VG file I renamed the layer that it was on to bottom and then I locked it and then I added a layer above and I named it top so that was the prep that I'd done uh, before you got here now, then I went on and I started with the Bezier tool and I drew around the petals, anticipating the ones that were underneath and on top. And I'll show you how I did that. Now we're on the top layer and it is unlocked. I'm going to get the Bezier tool. I'm going to start here, sort of in the middle anticipating again that this petal is going to be underneath because you're going to want to layer these petals anyway after you cut them and so I'm going to give you plenty of room to do that and I'm going around following what my mind's eye says that petal looks like that's underneath. There's that part. I'm going to fill it with the yellow. I'm going to get my palette here, my fill and stroke palette, and I'm going to bring the opacity down on that a little so I can see the pink underneath. Going to get my node tool, click on the nodes, there we go, and as I can see where the pink is showing or something doesn't look quite round enough, I just start dragging between those nodes and shaping the flower. You're going to be shaping this flower for a while so don't get too picky right now. Back to the uh, Bezier tool and get that last one. Start there and move up and just follow the shape as best you can. There's plenty of opportunity later to make it a different shape if you don't like it. Ending back up there. Fill. Opacity down. Node tool. Select the nodes. And start shaping that petal. Okay, not too bad. We're going to call that good. Now, going to select everything, move it off of the flower for the moment, go back to the Bezier tool, and sort of anticipate that stamen or pistol or whatever it's called. Get that. Fill it so we can see it. Node tool. Play around with it a little bit. Alright, there we go. Back and let's hide the drawing by pressing the light. I think we're done with this for the moment. Move over here. You can see now what your flower looks like and where all your pieces are going. And now is where the subjective play comes in. First thing you want to do is go to each petal, turn the nodes on, <coughs> and select around them and do a make selected nodes smooth on each one. That will sort of round out a lot of the raw edges that you may have made while you were drawing. 
just takes a little bit of time. But it makes your drawing look a lot nicer. Okay, and do the same thing with the pistol while you're doing this. Now, here's where whatever you want to do to make your flower look the way you want it comes in. You can come in as long as you're staying in between those pistols or the nodes. You can just shape this thing any which way from Sunday. We're going to leave it that because I'm going to run out of time. So I want to get on with something else. Get rid of this out of our way. I'm going to select drop the resolution, don't need it. I'm going to select everything now. And I'm going to duplicate all of them. And then I'm going to do a path union. So for all intents and purposes, there's your mat. I would do a path, outset, path, outset. I'd do it at least two of those. You can use dynamic offset, whichever makes you happy. Turn that black. Hibiscus can be any color, so we're just going to leave that the way it is. No, we won't because we want the pistol to show up, so I'm just going to select all of them and I'm going to make them red. And because we've still got our uh, fill and stroke at opacity. I'll bring that up. Take my pistol, put it in the center, and again you can just keep playing now until it's just the flower that you want. But essentially that's the end of it. Thank you for being here. It's always my pleasure to have you. I hope you learned something and that you'll come to my blog and uh, take a look at some of the other things we have going on there. I'll have some files and things for you to use. So, thanks again. Have a good day. Bye.